What's going on, everybody? It's April's hey. Nut here, back again with another video, along hey. with Joe. Hi, everyone. And we are going to be predicting and previewing, or previewing? Previewing, predicting. Re uh, no, we're not reviewing it. We're pre yeah, preview, predicting, <laughs> Extreme Rules 2014. Yes. Not 2012. No, not I, uh, but uh, I predict Triple H was going to win that match, and uh, that's what happened. Yeah. Last year. Yes. That was 2013. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brock Lesnar won, actually. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It's coming to us from the Ezod Center. In New Jersey. In East Rutherford, New Jersey. New Jersey. What a, what what great moments happened in that arena? Last year, the, it was the Raw after WrestleMania. That's right, when Sheamus and Randy Orton got booed out of the building. <laughs> Everyone was chanting for Michael Cole. <laughs> yeah, and JBL, <laughs> and Jerry Lawler. And, and, they, and they cheered for the ice cream man. They cheered for the cotton candy guy. They cheered for the drinks man. They were cheering the. They were cheering the concession guys. Bonk everybody. Yeah, that everybody. Just, that, that just shows you how bad those two are. Exactly. Speaking of which, one of them is going to be on the card. The other isn't. Well, the other one's not. Yeah, the other one isn't. Well, we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's start with that with the match that hopefully is on the pre-show. It is. It, it is? Yes. Thank God. The Wii LC match. Hornswoggle versus El Torito. I can't I can't decide what's worse. The Child Guerrero Hornswoggle feud or this? Um, that. The, that that was bad? Yeah, Chavo and Hornswoggle. I mean, Chavo is Chavo. I mean, he's Guerrero. Yeah, but... You the, can't be losing to a midget when your last name's Guerrero. Come on. Yeah, but this is Hornswoggle at his worst. Yeah, he's a part of three MB too. Like, oh, what do they see in those? What do they see in this tag team, this stable here, this rocker group? What do they see in these guys? There's a bunch of guys, the comedic know. tag team that people just beat up. They every just time. Need, they just need to have them have a place for each other because that them as as individuals couldn't get anywhere. No, the chosen one. <laughs> no, Jinder Mahal and this. Uh, yeah, you know, no. it's like. You know, they had high hopes for him. They had him. They should have had high hopes for him. Well, yeah, they did, but they didn't go anywhere. He's they terrible. Fell flat. No, because he sucks in the ring. Yeah. And Heath Slater was never taken seriously anyway. That is true. Yeah. So anyway, El Torito versus Hornswoggle. Who <laughs> you got in this one? I don't really care. <laughs> right, it's the pre-show. I'm not gonna. But gonna. Ugh. If I had to pick Torito, I'll pick El Torito. That's because I, they gotta have the baby faces win this one. I, we already saw this match on Raw anyway. Yeah, well, this one's a Wii LC match. I don't know how this is gonna work. They're gonna have like the one of those step ladders. They're gonna have a step ladder. They're gonna have a mini table, and they're gonna have mini chairs. Unbelievable! Thank God I'm not gonna be watching this. No, because he's gonna. I'm be, gonna be on vacation. He's gonna be in the DR, and he's gonna yeah. have to watch the replay when he gets back mm -hmm. in the week after. And I'm not gonna watch. I'm gonna not gonna read the spoilers or anything like that. So, I'm going to be completely immune. Ugh. So, yeah, there we go. Um, now we get to the actual show itself. Um, right. Let's start with the triple threat match that was added this past Monday. Jack Swagger, Cesaro, and Rob Van Dam. Well, I know it's not going to be uh, Rob Van Dam because he's going to put one of those guys over. Yeah. But the question I, I is, just, I just don't care about the match, though. There's nothing really... About those three guys that I really say is like, oh, I gotta watch that match. I really do. You know, yeah, but Cesaro is an up, coming up and up. I, okay, it's this is really the feud between Zeb Coulter and Paul Heyman, the uh -huh. two managers. That's what really this feud is. Mm -hmm. Ron Van Dam is just in the mix. He's just in there to get a paycheck. Yeah, yeah. pay per view paycheck. Yeah, so yeah, to get on the card because he's he actually has talent mm -hmm. for for somebody in his forties. Hell yeah! But I think Cesaro is gonna win. Yes. Simply because he's, like you say, he's on the up and up. He's on the up and up, and he's going to be going places. I have Cesaro winning as well. Yes. So there we go. Um, now we get a two-on-one handicap match. Alexander Rusev against Truth and Consequences. Rusev. Like, they're they're going to they're gonna squash those two. 35 seconds. 35 seconds. Yes. you got a time limit for this. Yes, yeah, 35 seconds. Not going to last long. Rusev wins because they got to put the... the the, the guy, the, the type of wrestler they always want to keep pushing is the monster guy that's going to beat up everybody, but later they turn into comedic guys. 
I'm going to say 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Ugh, that doesn't need to be 2 minutes long. 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Just get to um, the point. All right. Paige versus Tamina Snuka for the Divas Championship. Paige. Okay. I can't see it giving it to Tamina. Okay. Simply put. Paige. Yeah. Paige is awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Biggie Langston versus Bad News Barrett for the Intercontinental title. Put it on Bad News Barrett. Yes. He's the, mo- he's, he's the most entertaining out of the two. You know why? Because he's got Cause he's some bad news. <laughs> and other thing, you know, everyone's raving about Big E on his social media because he's funny, he's charismatic and everything, but that doesn't translate yeah, well it doesn't, TV. Yeah, it doesn't translate to live TV. No, he's just, he's just... He's just Big E. He's just... I, I don't know if he's nervous or he's got stage fright or... He's camera shy. Or he's camera shy, I don't know. <laughs> But that's not going to make him a star. Oh, I like hugs. I'm Biggie Langston on Instagram. On TV. Woo. Intercontinental champion. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to the guy that actually has charisma and is actually getting over. Yeah. He's going to be He's a getting big... a positive reaction. Yes. And though that's not a good thing if he's a heel. So they'll turn a baby face. They have to. At this point, it's better than having him against... Have better going up against Sheamus each and every week. I hope Bad News Barrett wins here. Yes, he better win. That would be the most interesting thing ever. If he doesn't, I will be surprised. Oh, yeah. Um, let's go to the championship match. The WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Because this is not going to be the main event, unfortunately. No. Um, Kane versus Daniel Bryan. No, they're not giving it to Kane. I don't tell <laughs> Hell you that no. much. After he tried to drag Brie Bella into the ring. <laughs> It's like, Jesus, what is wrong We've with you, We've seen this Kane? before. Jesus, King, you just have a thing for, like, kidnapping women. Yeah, and dragging them down to... It's like, you kidnapped place. Stephanie McMahon that one time. You kid, you were trying to kidnap Trish that one that time. That one time with Eve Torres. Yeah, and so that, that one writer. time with, e, with, like, Lita and that whole storyline. Oh, and then yes. the Kelly Kelly thing. Oh, that was that one nowhere. Yeah, that one That nowhere. one absolutely nowhere. Yeah, they were like... Uh, it was, it, no, oh, it's, it's, oh, Randy it, Orton's it, there. It, you know, oh, no, we're not going to do that now. I was like, geez, you just get Kane away from women in general. Kane plus women does not do Equal anything. Equal entertaining. No. Or no, just, it's flat out creepy and yeah. disturbing. Weird. Yeah, he's a monster and he just has a thing for dragging women. Down into so, hell. Yeah, yeah. Down into the, all right. Yeah. So, um. The only thing was with Tori. That was the only good thing about, um. Kane. Remember that storyline? Oh, right. Back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. Back in the day. And with Tori, when he, she was in DX and Xbox yes. and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Um, but Daniel Bryan is on a... Was, the, what a great way to start off his title ring. He's got to go up against the guy his, in his 40s. And his former tag team partner, Team Hell. Yes, but they're not bringing that up at all. Nope. <laughs> Which is kind of strange. Yeah, it's just kind of strange. Where's Doctor Shelby when you need him? I have a feeling, if, you know, if they're really gonna go with continuity, if he shows up, special guest referee. Yeah. See, that would have been that would have been something that would have been entertaining to see. Doctor Shelby comes back and says, "Guys, what happened? You two were doing such great. You were great. You were great tag team. And now you guys fighting. were friends. Team, hug it out. And now, and now you're." Fighting against each other. I mean, what happened? See, that's something you could go with, but they're not. They're yes, just gonna, enforcer, maybe. And they're no. They're just completely removing that. They're trying to make it too serious between those two. Between yeah. those two. Yeah, I don't know why. All right. Um, but yeah, we see Dan and Brian winning. Yeah. Either way, of course. Um, John Cena and Bray Wyatt Bray, in a steel cage. Bray Wyatt's got to win that one. He has to. If he doesn't, then everything that he's been working up to for the past eight months. What a waste gone like that what a waste um i think i th- it's obvious bray wyatt's got a one i mean cena won at mania for i don't know why well it's me i can understand why he lost it's mania you know bray wyatt really had to show that he can be great when he loses and he did and he did i mean he was the best out of those two i mean quite honest so that was really him trying to be the you know, what's he like as a heel in, the, yeah. in that wrestling match? Just, that just was, trying to freshen him up Yeah, a just bit. trying to, you know, it's like, and then realizing, oh, hey, you're going to lose one of these days. We might as well get you used to that now. Yeah. On the grandest stage, I accept that. This, yeah, I, I got, got, and this he's got to win this one. He has to. And they Especially gotta, after Monday with the children, the, the corn, and And the brainwashing. Yeah. They, they got to go with that storyline. They got to start recruiting more into the Wyatt family and do like the whole brainwashing storyline. Yeah. 
Because they can get away with that with the fans cheering for Wyatt. Because it's like, oh my god, he's brainwashing all the fans. He's making them all go into his cult. Sheep masks everywhere. Yeah. What is going on? (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) Yeah. And John Cena's just going, I've got the whole world in my hands. That's right. Yeah, so that's the way it's going to go down. But it's not going to be him escaping the cage. It's Bray Wyatt beating down John Cena in the middle of the ring inside that steel cage. Inside a steel cage. Yeah. Which hopefully, hopefully happens. Yeah. Oh yeah, it will. Um, which makes me, which kind of makes me wonder, what would have happened if Undertaker, what still undefeated, him and Bray Wyatt, because then it would have been pretty awesome to see at WrestleMania. Uh, I don't know. No. It just. Then he could have been the true face of fear when he beat him. It could have been, but, you know, Brock Lesnar. Could have, would have, should have. Brock Lesnar. Yeah. He's the new He's <laughs> yeah. the new Undertaker. He's the new guy to beat now. I guess. Um, now we get to the match I think is going to be the main event. Of course. It's got, it has to be. It has to be because it's been promoted down our throats for the past Triple H couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, Triple H with a sore throat. Um, pretty much in all the main event segments on Raw mm-hmm. and SmackDown. Evolution, one of my all-time favorite factions, Triple H, Randy Orton, and Batista, against The Shield. With Ric Death, Flair on their side? Uh, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. With Ric Flair on their side? We'll see. Because, you know, Ric Flair's like, why come you didn't bring me back? Did he? Oh. Did he do that? I don't know, but maybe that's what I'm thinking he should have done. Yeah. Where Ric Flair should have been like, why didn't you bring me where back? Where was I when they did this? this? Why, 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 where was I? Come on. Oh, you were in the back of our minds. No. We don't need you anymore. Yeah. Old fart. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is just a regular six-man tag match. No elimination style. Just a regular six-man tag match. Um, yeah, this is the toughest one for me because Batista's leaving after this. He's going to take some time off and then get ready for the summer for when his movie comes out. Supposedly. Supposedly. But, Supposedly. I, have a feel, but I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. You know, to be quite honest, Batista, you know, has got to take time to promote his movie and everything. Yeah, but that's really not that much. He's just got to do media interviews. Yeah, but I, you know, just that's just media. It's just something. It's just something that I think is going to happen because there was all those speculations that he was going to take some time off and everything, so to get back in shape. He's in shape. Or no, just to get in better shape, because you know he looked oh. a little winded in some of his. Yeah, matches. He, look, he looks a little wimpy. Yeah, he just looks like he's getting a little tired, and he's got to k- keep up. So I think he's got to get back in ring shape. He's still mm-hmm. got a little bit of rust. A R- little ring rust. Yeah, I mean he's been gone for four years. Yeah, know? four years. He hasn't been wrestling for four years. So get some time, get him to work up a little bit more, because they really thought that him going into the Royal Rumble and winning was that was going to be the original main event, but they were like, no. no. Fuck you! We, we don't want, want you. Yeah, we don't want you to be the. You were the guy. You were the man that five quit. Year, five years ago. But now we don't want to see you anymore. Yeah, this is the same guy that quit. Remember yeah. when he was in a wheelchair? Yeah. Oh, I quit. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um, but anyway, I I, I don't know the shield. I don't know. No. Do you really go forward with the shield and have him be an unstoppable faction as a babyface, or do you go with the authority and make them even bigger heels? That, that they haven't already been. But the thing is, if Batista does leave or if Batista does... It, it's got to be better if Batista stays. Yeah. Randy Orton is has proven that he's not the guy to be on the top. He's not the guy that, that fans want to see. He's not the guy that anybody wants to see anymore. He's done. He's over. It's, he's, he needs to go on other things. He should be going to acting now. Yeah. That's really what it is. He's is. He's been there since 2002, and a lot of those guys from 2002 nobody likes anymore. They're getting, uh, except they're, for getting, they're getting stale. Well, Lesnar, the thing with Lesnar is he's taken part-time. Yeah. So he's only going to be there for, like, the major pay-per-view. So exactly. everyone's fine with that. But the Big four. Yeah, so, well, not Survivor Series. Well, but anyway. we'll see. But anyway. Uh, Who do you think is going to win this one? I don't know. I, I, I'm, this, this is why I think it should be the main event, because I have no idea. Yeah. Do you go, like I said, do you go with the shield and make them an unstoppable baby face uh, faction, or do you go for the uh, evolution and have them be an unstoppable force to be reckoned with? It's like, we're not taking this shit anymore. We're taking back what's rightfully ours, the title, and we prove that by beating down these wimpy uh, two-year guys, yeah. these rookies. You know, eventually, 
the shield has to break up. Oh yeah. That's... Eventually, because you got you know they got bigger plans for Roman Reigns. You know he's going to be the mega star that is going to be the next the mega star. Which I hope and, he does. Yeah, Roman he's Reigns is impressive. And Seth, like Ro- Seth Rollins too. And I like all three guys in that group. Yeah. I just think Dean Ambrose is the guy that's going to get the short end of the stick because of because of his attitude and his personality. He just needs to lose that U.S. title. Yeah. He just needs to use that Lewis. Yes, they Lewis have done it. nothing with that because it's nothing. mostly been the shield. But he's still the lo- <laughs> he's the longest reigning U.S. champion, and he's done nothing he's with done it. He hasn't nothing. defended it that well. He's, nothing. Ugh. He's defended it like five times. Almost. Yeah, it's, and he's. Ugh, I don't know why they put the belt on him in the first place. Um, but that being said, I gotta go with Evolution. Yeah, I gotta go with that. I mean, I gotta it, go with Evolution because simple fact. I, I mean, they gotta break up somehow. This might be the. Um, knife that broke the camel's back. No, I think what you do is you build Evolution up for SummerSlam, but you have the Shield as the as the group that's you know still got all this little dissension start going on again, and then it's Triple H Roman Reigns at SummerSlam, mm-hmm. and then that's where like you know it's like okay good guy versus bad guy we're ready to fight it's like the old cowboys yes. going at it on the cowboys on the middle. and Indians yeah too it's like turn and shoot cops and robbers thing. damn it and then uh, Roman Reigns I mean Roman Reigns gets betrayed by the other two. That's what I think happens. Okay. So you have to go with Evolution. So I think Evolution is going to win. So does he. And that is our preview slash predictions for Extreme Rules. And we'll review it a week afterwards. Yes, because I will be out of the country. Or if I do like a solo review and I put it on your channel, it's a make way that gets faster. Hmm. Either way. <laughs> we'll find out. No, we'll find out. We'll see what happens. But yeah, um, let us know what you think. Let... Let us know your predictions down below. Still pissed off at YouTube that they got rid of the video response. They got rid of the video responses? Yeah. Wow. They got rid of that stuff. Did they ever give a reason why? Nope. Okay. Because they want to be more like Google. They want to be more like Facebook. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got to go with the trend. But either way, um, let us know what you think uh, is going to happen to Extreme Rules. Until my next video, this is Apex90 saying peace out, baby. See you guys next time.